Well, here's another piece that was done pretty early on, probably about 25 years ago. Well, there's a date on it. Yep, April of 88. I stamp my name and date on most stuff I make. <clears throat> so, 25 years. Now, out of interest, let me just grab it. Um, I made reference on an earlier thing when I was having the drawers open. This uh, shell end mill, very nice tool, it's done quite a bit of work, still got an edge on it. That was used, I think, to make uh, this and another thing which is going to be covered soon. <coughs> Put that back. Anyway, the uh, objective <coughs> was to make. Um, a small block for center drilling, mostly small stuff, center drilling in the uh, drill press. And I think this was a pattern that was published somewhere and I used this as a basis. So as usual it's a case of what have I got in stock because I never had a huge stock of uh, metal in big lengths, it was always bits and pieces. So we took this block which I guess uh, nominally <laughs> it's probably yeah it is it's two by two and the other dimension I think must be three probably two by two by three there you are so we took this block and the first job was to create the V which was probably the most critical aspect so as I haven't got suitable milling machine facilities. This was set up on the vertical slide in a vise and you see that. So the cutter was brought in pretty much like that and I think I, I, think I milled out the uh, groove at the bottom. So there we are, we've got a V slot. The next thing was to mark out for four corner pillars and a couple of securing bolts. These are quarter, those are 516. Then the other thing which was actually fairly complicated but an interesting challenge. Uh, you see the hole in the bottom and this hole in the side. The idea was to have some means of registering uh, position this way and then lock it down. So, made this little Y piece, which if I remember I had to make by hand, <laughs> unlike Keith Benner, I, I never had a plasma cutter, but I uh, made this little Y piece. So how this works is, in the bottom, we have a spring, okay? Spring goes in. And then we've got this little piece, which you may not see in much detail. It's got a through and through hole, slitting saw, making a small separation there. And then a blind hole here for uh, pressure. So what happens is, if we can get this assembled right. So we've got to do here is alrighty. <laughs> it's just a case of remembering. I made this a long, long time ago. So we'll put that in there against the spring. Then this piece. Hang, we've got to get that through. It's a bit of a. There we go. All right. So what we've got now. is a piece here that goes right the way through side to side through this locking block shall we call it and then at the end we have this little fella which is turned down from a bolt and uh, drilled to take a little half T piece so that goes in
and that then will give a locking. So what we have is two options here. This option gives about an inch into the V, for something fairly small and short, and for something longer, that's these are sorry, I'm out of the frame I think. These are two clearance holes just to take the unused piece. So here we might have something longer, which we might lock out there. We lock that in. That's solid. Okay. Well, solid for distance. I didn't lock it that tight. Then the top piece, which I've actually had to relieve very slightly because in transit, long, long ago, at least one of these pins got bent and I haven't straightened it fully. So this top piece, the locking section, goes on there. And then we've got the uh, locking nuts. Now this isn't designed for anything very big. I forget the biggest thing I had in here, probably about a half inch. But for some small work where it's pretty tricky to set up for a, an accurate cross drill, let's get this darn nut started. <laughs> fingers and thumbs, fingers and thumbs. There we go. All right, so <laughs> that had a slight burr in it, I think. Somewhere is a bit of a burr. So we bring the piece up. Sorry, they bring this top piece up, slide the piece of work in. Oh, let's just pick up a piece of bar. Let's say we got that piece of bar, okay? And that's coming back to our stock here, and then we can tighten it down. So there we've got a piece, just lock that in a bit tighter. And the final thing here, you won't see that in much detail, but I turned up a number of these little buttons, and that goes in the top. And that acts as a drill guide. <coughs> and these, I forget how many I made, I don't even know where the others are actually. I've got a whole batch of them somewhere. They probably in one of one of the drawers. I won't waste time looking. Yeah, I made a, I don't know, eight, ten standard sizes. Uh, this size is uh, <laughs> 316. And I, I case hardened that. So it's actually pretty tough, although it was made out of mild steel. So there you are. That's this block set up for distance that way. And we've got our drilling guide button in there for 316. And we can undo that and take the work out. I've got a much bigger version of this for the tailstock and we'll deal with that as a separate item. So there you go, a little bit of light engineering fun. Well, just a little addendum to the uh, section we did on this block. I just remembered where the other bits were. So I've got another eight. You won't even see the hole in this one, I don't think. Very tiny. I'm trying to read, read what the size is on it. I think it's a 64th or something. I don't know. Can't read it completely. Anyway, there we are. Those are the other bits. Oh, and also, um, just two other options to go on this yoke if needed. Okay.